How's it going? Uh, I have a page pulled up called Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. And this is essentially what started, started it for me. I was told by Colin Murphy to start looking into Python if I really wanted to understand um, how to assess information or analyze information and kind of just dig through it when I first started digging into the Canvas world. You know, fast forward to today, and I'm, you know, I'm still using Python as much as I can. Uh, I find it a very efficient tool to use once you understand it. Um, and I'll show you what I've done. Over here, I have a tool that I uh, wrote um, because most of the CAN bus information that we look at, uh, it can be stored in somewhat of a DBC style syntax or a DBC file is a uh, native way to um, basically define the information on a CAN bus network. It's not for every CAN bus network, but it is a good representation of what most of the market uses. And so uh, the problem is, is when you have to write these, you have to write them a lot of times uh, manually. You know, you'll have to come in, file, create. Once you create one, you got a CAN template, you know, uh, it'll ask you where you want to save it. We'll throw it on the desktop. Um, time consuming, right? And then each, each message you have to create and there's your message. You got to put in your ID, your data length, right? Um, and then in each message you have to then do signals and type in the signals and then move the signals over to the message. Once you have it, have it situated, you know, it's very, it's very time consuming, right? You know, and then lay it out wherever you want it. So what I wanted to do is like, how can I speed up the process or expedite the process of, of creating these? dbc files um by by just assessing a log file right so the things that don't change you know typically your data length doesn't change typically your message ids are pretty static um for the you know for for where your data is um so i wanted to to analyze a log file and say hey what ids do we see in this log file and can we just go ahead and just automate the, the, the DBC creation and just write all the messages out with their data, with the appropriate, appropriate data links. Uh, and that's essentially what I did. No, I don't want to save changes. So once I run this, it's just going to ask me, um, pull up a socket can log file. So I'll pull up a socket can log file and that's the time consuming one. We'll do fast. We'll do efficient. Efficient dot DBC. So as you can see, I have it have printout statements to define things and all the IDs in the data links that we see. It's done. It looks through 45 minutes. We'll open up efficient. Now we have all the messages with the message IDs. I've got the, the names standardized to a name, which I'll probably shorten up a little bit. And then all the data links are appropriate to what the data links were seen in the log file. So this, this takes one step out of the manual process in order to get the job done. Um, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So let me know what your thoughts are.